right, it's January and very cold. And we did, we just installed the Screech, Eastern Screech Owl Box. And the reason why we did that is that we have been in a constant battle with rats since I installed Hugel Mounds. <laughs> very large Hugel Mounds. If we lived out in the country, this wouldn't have been as big of a problem, but here in the city, we already, there's already an abundance of rats and a rat problem, and I just gave them an amazing hotel. So <laughs> we keep bombing, we're using dry ice um, to fill the holes and bomb the nests, but we need nature to help out. So. In our area, we heard that screech owls are, uh, will inhabit a nest box. Sometimes it'll take up to two to three years for them to find. I'm hoping that they'll love it and come this year. But, um, and we decided to go ahead and put it in an old planter. We did three 50-pound bags of quickcrete, and then we topped it with some rocks. What is this, a one-inch? It's a black... Black iron pipe. Yeah, black iron pipe, and it has the threading, and we attach it to the top. This is a 10 foot pole. A couple reasons we decided to go with a pot is if this ends up not being a great spot, we can always move it somewhere else. Um, I'm not sure, you know, if the squirrels are just going to immediately inhabit it. We do need to put a squirrel baffle on this pole, which we haven't done, but we wanted to go ahead and get it done. So. We have it facing south, slightly east, which is supposed to be the right location. And because I have all these cattle panels and arches and there's multiple trees around, the owls will be able to hopefully perch. If that's a problem, I may put in a T post somewhere, you know, 10 feet out for the, is it the male that likes to, mm -hmm. the male screech owl likes to be about 10 feet away. Um, so you can watch for predators, but we have a lot of food here for them. So, and I also have a water source. I have this pond. I'm not sure if I need to do something else so they can drink from it, but um, there's some bricks and rocks that are kind of shallow so they can drink. They do need a water source. Um, the pond will be a whole nother video. <laughs> <laughs> what we did wrong <laughs> so it's just a wildlife pond with some native plants and things in it um, and that's about it so hope this is easy basically all we did leveled the pot put the pole down we had a level that we bungee corded to the to the pole so when we we held it for a half hour as the quick creek was um, yeah, fast acting as it was getting hard. And let's, fingers crossed. Your neighbor said what? It, it could be anywhere from uh, six months to two years? Yeah, I've, I've been seeing on the um, forum some people like just getting their screech owls to the boxes. So we may be a little too late. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. So hopefully it'll work out. <laughs>